Hello, those were the Newcastle cows, or more to the point, Newcastle pasture land, uh, very close to the city centre. There, there, there's this sort of ancient right of uh, being able to graze your cows on this particular public land. And I find it very pleasing driving sometimes Mrs. Soup to work past those cows. In fact, they're just over there at the moment. Um, so I just thought I'd share those with you, and it's a wonderful little quirk of, uh, of living in Newcastle, or very close to Newcastle anyway. Um, nonetheless, I th I'm making this Archeo scoop ish video um, for a couple of reasons. First of all, to thank uh, Noah, uh, Noah S, for sending in this. This is a wonderful, wonderful object. It's, uh, it's a trowel, sort of a trowel, um, and he said uh, that he thought I might find it useful. So his parents sent it in on his behalf. Um, thank you so much, Noah. It's absolutely wonderful. Um, I shall certainly keep it close. I shall brandish this trowel with pride. I can't guarantee I'll use it on site. It's not, it's not necessarily quite the right shape, but nonetheless, it is a lovely object. So thank you so much, uh, Noah, for sending that in. Wonderful, great trowel. Um, I'm also making this video in the car because I've got a very busy day ahead. I've got various things I'm doing. Uh, one of the most interesting ones actually being um, having two 1.5 meter square hypothetical excavation uh, excavation sort of photographs printed off for um, a workshop that I'm doing. So um, essentially I've, I've constructed a, a fake work, um, excavation, 1.5 meter square, almost like a test bit I guess, in which there's, a, there's quite a, a rich um, uh, find, or crop of finds rather, and um, it'll be an opportunity to help um, or to in encourage people to interpret these two um, mini excavations during the course of the workshop. Nonetheless, that's something I need to go and get printed off on this wonderful uh, waterproof, rip-proof fabric stuff, and that's going to be happening today. Uh, but the main reason, though, why I'm not recording this video on my iPhone and, you know, with the traditional map on the side and the headlines, this kind of thing, is because uh, this happened. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't actually put the phone on uh, onto a stand to film myself. Um, so, so um, uh, sh rather than um, uh, than have this sort of wobbly phone and this kind of thing, I thought I'd just quickly do an Archeo Scoopish video, thank Noah for the trowel, uh, let you guys see the cows, and also invite you to have a look at it, as always, uh, in the links below for news stories uh, from today and the past couple of days. There's some really good news stories in there. I haven't had time to review them or, or to, to, to write up summaries of them for you but they are definitely well worth a read I've, I've had a read of most of them but i just haven't i haven't come up with what i was going to say about them nonetheless do check them out they're, they're well worth a look um so there you go very busy day ahead broken camera stand um trowel from noah and uh, with all that in mind with my day uh, 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 rushing up towards me i shall leave you um with a uh, customary take care and goodbye and also here once again for your viewing pleasure are the cows Oh yes, sorry, I nearly forgot. This is a PS. PS. Um, uh, the, the, you can also expect this week um, the West Kennet video. For a long while I've been calling it Fusel's Lodge, rather stupidly because I got the two names muddled up, but the one I had in my mind was West Kennet. And the research for that is basically done, um, but because of my busy day I can't uh, publish it today. But you can expect that probably on Thursday or Friday. Probably Friday, actually. Um, right, so, got to go. Yes, things to do. Um, as I say, enjoy those news stories and the cows. Bye-bye.